Instagram what video you guys wanted to see from me next. And 57% of you, I believe, said that you guys wanted a get ready with me. So here we are. I got some new contacts, okay? If you guys remember, like maybe last year, I believe it was, I worked with Iris Beauty. They contacted me yet again for another review. So I have three different types of contacts from them. I'm not gonna do all of them in this video, obviously. I'm just gonna pick one. And then they also sent me some new products that they have. They have a perfecting eyebrow brush which is this one here. They also sent me this eyeliner as well, so we'll go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna take the eyeliner out first just to take a look at it and see what it's talking about. It looks to be like a brown liner. It's still like in the plastic. I don't know if you guys can tell, so I need to take that off. I really like the packaging. It looks so like luxurious. It's so like smooth, especially like with the gold font and everything. This is like really nice. So this is the eyeliner that they have. The black one was sold out, obviously. So they sent this one to me, which is a brown one. I have white on, so I'm actually gonna put a jacket on for the remainder of the video, but I just wanted to show you guys this stuff for now. Um, let me do like a little tester. Okay, so yeah, it's just a brown liner. I don't really see myself using a brown liner, but maybe, I don't know, maybe. But I really do like this eyeliner, so if you can get the black one. And then let's try out this, this eyebrow brush. Okay, I need to do my eyebrows right now anyway, so let's see what this is talking about. So here is the eyebrow brush. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. So, ooh, okay, this is what this one looks like. I'm definitely gonna try this out. It looks a little gray though. Is that just because it's ashy or something? I'm gonna do a little swatch right here. Oh, it's really hard. Okay. It looks green. I don't know, it's really dark though. I don't know if this is gonna work for me. I can try it, but it just seems like it'll be too dark. So, and then there's this side. So it's a double-sided like eyebrow brush thing. So on this side, you have the part where you can do like your eyebrows and then this side is a brush. So that's really cool. All right, so I'm gonna try it on my brows right now. I'm gonna use a brush. I really like the spoolie on here. I can say that's really soft, very gentle. Okay, and let's just try this out, you know? Let's do it this brow. This brow is better. Luckily, I can, you know, always clean it up later. And it seems to be dark enough, but I just hope it's not like too dark, you know? Cause we all know how my eyebrows was looking last year. A hot ass mess. All right, so let's see this other brow now. So this is typically what I use. So typically I use this Morphe eyebrow cream in the color Mocha, which is brown. And then I use this little brush, which is also by Morphe. But you know what, I forgot, I stopped using this brush. And I use this other Morphe brush now. This Morphe brush is a M165. This is the Morphe M165, and it looks like this. This is an eyebrow, it's an eyeliner brush, but you can use it for your eyebrows, obviously. So, and I just wanna see like, am I going too dark on the brow? <laughs> I keep saying that shit, am I going too dark on the brow? Yes, honey, it's a huge difference. And I like the Morphe cream better just because it's lighter. Like this is not my color. You see how this just looks better? It goes better with my skin. Whereas this is just like, bam! So I'm gonna wipe that one off. So I like the product, it's just the color is not the color for me. I might use it like on the tail part of my brows. Like to make the dark, this part of my eyebrows darker maybe. So that kind of. I don't know what I just did, honestly. I I overdid my brow on purpose. But let me go ahead and put this back together, honey. So that was the Iris Beauty Eyebrow Perfecting Duo Brush. So that's the thing like about makeup. You know, like you have to test things out. You have to try things. And I've been trying a lot of new things out. Being more experimental, I guess you can say, like, 
and get out of my comfort zone. Cause me, y'all already know, I'm so basic when it comes to my makeup. Like I have the James Charles palette with like, who knows, like a whole crayon box of colors. And I never do color, like I'm just not that girl. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my brows with my LA Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. This is the color that I like to use, you know what I'm saying? So bad. And you know what's funny, you guys? So I have something that I've had. Oh, damn, I'm tripping. I have to put my, so I'm tripping, you guys. I have to put my contacts in. Y'all didn't even tell me. Y'all just finna let me just keep doing my makeup and I'll put my contacts in. So, hold on. Let me clean up these brows first. You know, we done already got it cracking. Fuck it. Really, nigga? Bow, bow, okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my contacts in. I should have did that first, but you know, we're backwards around here. So we have a couple of different ones. So we have Rebel Brown, looks like this. We have Mineral Green, okay. Lastly, we have Adore Brown. So I don't really know which ones I wanna try on. I don't wanna do the green. I'm not really like ready for the green eye ordeal. But I'm thinking between Rebel Brown and Adore Brown. But I feel like Rebel Brown's a little bit lighter, so I think I'm gonna go with that, because Adore Brown just looks like regular like brown. And my eyes are already brown, so I'll try Rebel Brown. Maybe it'll be like a little like hazel brown. I don't know, we'll see. So you just take it out of here, and your contacts, here they are. Here goes one right here. So this is what it looks like. Okay, and it comes in an individual pack. These don't have like any prescription or anything like that. So what you do is you take this in here and then you just pull it back. And I can't do it like that. I have to pull it down here because I'll spill everything. Okay. Because it's like really tough, y'all. It's so weird because it's like looking at this thing is like looking at someone's like eyeball. I hope that I can put this in because I do have um, nails, like long nails right now. These are my real nails, but they grew really long. So hopefully I can do this. So the last time that I did it, I just kind of sat it like at the tip of my finger. And then, I don't know. So I'm gonna try to put these in, child. You guys, I have been at this for way too long now. So sorry to Iris Beauty. I cannot put these contacts in. I have been trying and trying and trying. Y'all see my damn face. Like, I messed up my eyebrow. Everything is all messed up. Like, I can't get the damn thing in. I hate being a quitter. I don't want to be a quitter. I don't want to quit. I really am trying, but it's like taking a lot of time. And y'all know I don't have that. Time. You said it's going to take how much? Some time. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I've done it before in the past, but like... Girl, I don't see how people do this shit every day. Let me try this eye again. Oh, look, you guys, I got it. Okay, let me close it. All right, so since it seemed like it's gonna take me another 30 minutes to get the other one in, I'll be back again. <laughs> so now that that's done, um, I've been watching a lot of other girls on YouTube like do their makeup, and I found the greatest way to do your makeup is just to do all of your foundation or your complexion and then do everything else. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. You guys know like a couple of weeks ago I went vlogging with you guys. I went shopping with you guys and I bought the new Fenty foundation. Now, I have a love-hate relationship for this foundation. I don't like to use it by itself. Um, I do like to mix it. Um, and that's just what I've always discovered with Fenty foundation. I always use it best when I mix it together. So today I will be mixing it with my Wet n Wild foundation that you guys always see me use. And then before we do that, we are gonna prime our skin. I am using the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 spray. This is a spray version. You can go ahead and get like the creamy, like pump version as well. But I like this one because I can set my makeup with it and I can use it as a primer. So it's like, you know, it's perfect. So I like using this. Now I'm just gonna do foundation. And I'm not gonna like 
go crazy with it like I normally do because I do have white on and even like my collar right here is still white so even though I'm supposed to go down on my neck in today's video I'm not gonna do that and the reason is because I have this white shirt on and I'll be damn if I mess up my new white shirt okay okay so yeah I just put a couple of you know little wah wah whams you know what I'm saying or the wet and wild then I'm gonna take this Fenty foundation and then I mix this in with it because the Fenty foundation give you like that skin like finish but it's a little too greasy for me and I don't really like that so I like to just mix it in with my wet and wild then I take this real techniques brushes the R2 200 RT 200 and what I've been doing is I go ahead and I use this brush first and then I go in with my um my sponge afterwards just to blend everything together. So boom. But you see how like this foundation like it look like skin like it's super bomb. But the reason why I like to use the sponge still is because like I like how this applies my foundation, but you can still like see like the strokes of the brush in your foundation. So that's not popping. You know what I'm saying? We can't have that. Just gonna go over that. And it, I'm not going over everywhere, just the places where I feel needed. Okay, we're good. So now it's time for concealer. And this is all I've been using lately. It's just the Fawn by LA Girl. This is like something I've always used though, honestly. These contacts are so uncomfortable sometimes, like. It felt like it's hair in there or something. There has been like some changes or some things going on, but honestly, I've just been to myself really. And that's like in general, you know. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys notice, like, I'll be on Instagram, but, like, I'm not on Instagram every day, like, how I used to be, like, just talking crazy or talking about random shit. Like, I'm just not on that right now. Like, I've just really been focused and, like, trying to work on new stuff that I want to do, you know? That's what I've more so been focused on than focusing so much like on social media or feeling that like need to like make an announcement about like everything that I'm doing. One thing that I did want to talk about though you guys is like loving yourself for real. You know a lot of people have like self love videos and I feel like a lot of people like look over them. They don't really like take in what people are talking about and maybe you don't even know like what is self love anyway like what does that mean? But I felt like this past year, I learned to like love myself like on another level. You know, like it's so much like, a lot of people would look at me and think like I have like the most confidence like in the world. And it's always like, it's an uphill battle. You know what I mean? Some days I feel like amazing, other days I feel like crap. And it's just like, every woman does. You know, and once you realize like you're not the only one feeling that way or you're not the only one going through that, it's fine. I think it's just my eyes just not used to having nothing in it. But yeah, it's just so important to like love yourself. And it's just like for so many years, I've had just like really low self-esteem at times, you know, because I was so caught up in what, you know, a couple of people might have said about me. You really gotta be careful with like things that you say to people because it really will stick with them. And I feel like I'm glad that I was bullied early on. I'm glad that people did say like crazy shit about me, you know, growing up. Because I feel like had people not done that, like I just would have been so, like I'm already a sensitive person. I would have been way too sensitive for the career that I have right now. Like at times I have to like really catch myself and you guys don't even know the half of it. Sometimes I share it on Instagram and I'll be ranting and stuff like that. And even that like I'm trying to like be cool on and not do so much of that. But um, yeah like there is so many times where people have just said some of the craziest things to me and I'm already like a very easily irritable person I'm gonna be honest with you. Like a lot of things people do and say irritate me that most people would just be like eh whatever. But anyway, my point of saying this was because I've learned to love myself like again and I've like really learned like what self-love really is and like really learned to like love every aspect of myself, whether I'm big, whether I'm small, 
whether you know my hair is all the way down my back or whether I don't have a wig on at all and it's like even now like with dating like when I'm dating like I don't when I meet up with a guy or we hang out or whatever or we go on a date or something like that I don't always have on like a full face of makeup like I want to make sure that you can really like me for who I am like the whole way I don't want nobody with me because oh I was looking cute that day but really, in actuality, like, I be regular as hell, like, for the most part. I'm not super dressed up all the time. I guess I'm just kind of going off on a tangent right now. Talking about random shit. Yeah, and I don't use, like, that contour cream anymore. I just feel like just foundation. That's it. I do still, like, contour, but just, you know. Taking it easy, man. But yeah, I just been all about just like bettering myself. I've been eating better, you know, like just taking better care of my body, you know, because a lot of people will look at somebody and be like, oh, well, you're skinny, so you must be healthy. No. I'm using this Ruby Kisses um, setting powder because my Laura Mercier ran out and I have to go buy some more. So until then, I'm going to be using this. And I use this in my past, like my past two videos, and I really like this one too but it's called the set and forget setting powder by ruby kisses it's a 16 hour flawless rub proof wear uh and it's in the color banana looks like this on here it's very fine but so i do like that about this like how fine it is like it's super fine so your makeup's gonna look really nice Boom, bow. I tried this before, but I don't think I liked it the first time. That's why I had bought my Laura Mercier. Cause I think like I was using it wrong or I don't know. And then I'm gonna put some on my eyelids as well. But make sure you like blend this part out. Once you love yourself, it's just certain things that you just don't tolerate. Like you know your worth, you know your value. You know, you will love yourself to the point where it's just like, I want to wake up in the morning and I want to drink a smoothie and I want to drink some water because my body needs nutrients. Like, I love myself that much. Like, I'm talking about that kind of love. Like, I've really dug in deep and like, I really genuinely love me wholly. And it took a long time to get here because I had so many people like, it's so crazy because a lot of people would tell me that you know, I'm beautiful, they love me and all these other things. And then on the other hand, then I would have somebody to say something about like my complexion. Like, it took years for me, years, honey, for me to love the skin that I'm in. Years, and it's still a work in progress, you know? You don't see how beautiful you are and other people do, or you don't know your worth and other people do. It can affect you just as much, like, whether you know your worth or whether you don't know your worth, like that shit, it matters. I didn't put any concealer on my forehead just cause I just like to have my forehead regular. I don't know, that's just me. But I am still gonna set the foundation right there in my brows and things. And it's like, now that I know my worth, now that I know my value, it's just like there's certain people that I don't have around me. You know, sometimes we hold on to people because we have history with them. You know, like a lot of times we want to be cool with people because it's like, oh, well, I've known this person so long or we have so much history together. How could I just let it go now? But it's like, you do you want to hold up the rest of your life because of this relationship that you think you need but you don't? Like... I don't know. I, I didn't break up with anybody, don't don't get me wrong. But anyway, right now I'm using my favorite combination, my Rodeo Drive and my Fantabulous um, bronzer blush set. And then I'm using this Morphe M527 brush. But yeah, I just learned to let things go. Like even in my closet, like I've cleared my closet out. I've just been clearing out so much and I just, I just needed that. I need to be at peace. I need new things. Like I got a new comforter set for my my bed. Like I've been switching up my room. Like I'm just ready for new. I guess I'm just getting ready for 2020, y'all, I guess. Like I was out of shape, you know. I was dealing with people that were like so terrible for me that like really didn't have no love for me for real. Like really did me dirty. 
Like, and for some reason, like, it's crazy how somebody can do you dirty, or whether it be a friend or a, a, a guy or something, and you still be cool with this motherfucker. Like, what the hell? Or try to be understanding or try to make it work or whatever. And it's like, girl, let that go. But yeah, that's basically what I've been learning to do, is to let go. People, places, and things. And that's real. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my favorite freaking highlighter in the world, this cinnamon stick by Fenty Beauty. And I'm gonna put that on my nose, blend that out. But yeah, girl, it's time to boss up. It's time to raise them prices. It's time to stack your dough. It's time to drink your water and live life. Like, live your life for you, not for other people. Love yourself unconditionally, you know. I've learned to love myself no matter what, you know, and I'm so resilient. Honestly, I want to go get a tattoo that like really, really like reflects like what I've overcome and what I've been through because I've just overcome so much. Like as you guys know, it's been a year now since I was fired. Remember I made that video about me being fired and you know, now I'm an entrepreneur and all this stuff. Like that was just a year ago, like officially. And I'm still an entrepreneur, I'm still a boss. They fired me, but you can't break a real one. You feel me? What's meant for me is what's meant for me and what's meant for you is what's meant for you. That's why when you come across challenges in life, don't listen to that negative self-talk. Like bro, you can make uh, miracles happen every day and you will be surprised. So yeah, now I'm just gonna be using my Epic Ink Liner and then I'm gonna just start doing my cat eye. But it's just so dope to see like, that I've inspired somebody. Like a lot of the goals that I had this year, I've accomplished them. And that is like the greatest feeling in the world. To like go after something and like really make it happen. I mean, I've been at it for a while. It's not nothing new, but I made some goals for this year and most of those goals like I've checked off. So I'm really happy about that. Things are looking like on the up and up for me business wise. So I'm excited about, you know, the new things that I will be doing. And 2020 is looking like an amazing year, you know, and all I'm trying to do is boss up and show a couple of people how to do it. You know what I mean? How I did what I did. Because a lot of people feel like things are just so impossible. And it's like, it's really not. Like, you just have to, you know, stick to that shit. You just gotta stick with it. A lot of people don't be sticking with it, they give up. But one thing about me is that I've never listened to anybody. Like, I've always been like, the person that just, I just move how I wanna move, period. I might even ask you for your opinion and still go on and do what I was gonna do anyway. I'm so good for that. And I've just gotten to that point in my life where it's just like, I don't want nothing less than the best. Like I want my health to be A1, my body to be A1, my business, my relationships with people, friend, family, friends, whatever, boo thing. <laughs> boo thing. I was like, I was dating people and I was talking to like, I'm talking about throughout this year. And it's just like, you be talking to people and it's just like, uh-uh, that ain't it. Like, you know what you want. Like, you know how you know what you want, but you just don't know what it is yet, but you know when you find it, that's it. <laughs> Like, I, I'm there with it right now. And I feel like a lot of people settle because they don't feel like they can get better. You know, you settle at a job that you hate because you don't think that you can get a higher paying job. Or you feel like, oh, well I have to go to college for this many years if I wanna do that. And it's just like, girl, you ain't gotta do none of that shit, girl. What are you talking about? It's 2019. Anything is possible, like, you can do anything, bro. So anyway, I have been wearing these lashes. Y'all already know, people always send me lashes. Um, but I'm wearing these ACL lashes, Ashley Latrice Collection. Oh, I say ACL, ALC lashes. Ashley Latrice Collection lashes in the style, really? These are the lashes that I've been wearing in my videos lately. So if you guys have been wondering like, hmm, what lashes are those? I've been rocking these and I really like these. You see? Super cute. But yeah, y'all, so Tyler's birthday is coming up, y'all, and I have to like get an outfit. So I might take y'all with me to go buy an outfit. 
because girl, I don't have no outfit right now. I didn't order nothing. I was supposed to been had ordered something, but girl, I be bullshitting. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I be trying to come up with an excuse as to why I don't do stuff and I'm just gonna keep it a bug. I be bullshitting. Just always be yourself. Like there's nobody more special than you. Just be yourself. Like people can see that shit. Like me especially, I see straight through that shit. Like I just have a bullshit detector and I just, I'm intuitive like that. I just know, I know bullshit when I see bullshit. And a lot of people just be trying to be somebody that they not. And it's just like, just be yourself, bro. I just feel like people be trying too hard, trying to be different. Like, just be you, boo. You you are different. Cause you're you. You're special. Embrace that shit. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. People want to be everybody but themselves. Create a character and trying to escape who you are, girl. Just be you, boo. Boom. Lashes is on. Oh, she popping. And the reason why I'm saying all of this, like, just be true to yourself, love yourself, because it's just like, I just feel like so many people in this world just like, just don't love themselves enough. And it just like, it's, it's a huge domino effect. Like, when you're not happy with who you are, you'll put other people down, you know, you'll allow people to mistreat you. I don't know, and I just want everybody to just be happy with with themselves. Like, cause it's like, once you know who you are, it's like anything else that's coming is only complimenting what you already bring to the table. It's not making you feel like, I don't know, hold on, let me put this lash on. Okay, so now that our makeup is done, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything with my Too Faced spray again. Does it that all blend in together? Makeup looking bomb. So now let's go ahead and get our unit. Okay you guys, so I have my unit here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. I did put foundation on the lace and everything just to save me some time. You guys already know like to do that so I just don't even see the point of showing that part and I adjusted the straps as well in the back. Um, this is my first time ever working with Double Leaf. I've never worked with them before. I've never tried any of their hair. So I was like, okay, this is a new company. I'm always open to working with new companies because I work with the same companies like all the time. So it's always great when I can like try, you know, new people out. But um, I really do like this company so far. The knots on this unit are like so perfect because the knots on this particular unit are like really small. So you guys see like it's given like, natural you see like I bleached the knots and I plucked it of course but this scalp I mean this this lace and um, the knots on here is like making it look like scalp and then I do have like a couple little blonde pieces pieces right here I kind of like when it's a little bit blonde because I feel like it just looks it looks good sometimes <laughs> it do so anyway I'm just gonna pull this down and just like where I kind of like where I want it at somewhere around here and go ahead and cut that off shall we I'm just ready for like this next chapter in my life and I'm just so glad that I've just been brave enough and bold enough to like make these necessary changes that needed to happen in my life I no longer drink coffee in the morning now um it's just because like I just noticed what like coffee was doing to my body and it's like, people don't talk about that. People make it seem like coffee is so harmless. But like, coffee is very addictive. And it's just as, as addictive as like nicotine, like smoking cigarettes and stuff like that. Like, I would literally get like twitches in my eyes. I would literally get migraines when I didn't drink coffee. And I was like, this is not cool. This is not healthy. Like, I can't keep doing this to myself, you know? It also suppresses your appetite, so when you drink coffee, you're really not that hungry. So like a lot of times I would drink coffee, but I wasn't eating breakfast because I just wasn't hungry. Like bad habits, just in general, y'all. I just been working on myself. Y'all see I'm looking good, I'm feeling good, girl. I'm just in a good place and I just wanna be in a good place and I don't want anything to like get me out of this place. So it's just like, even when I see like crazy stuff like in my comments, or whatever you know people say crazy shit all the time but I've just been trying to work on that too like not overreacting so much like just because somebody says some stupid shit in my comments like so what like fuck them hoes you know 
fuck. This shit gets hot as shit. This shit was burning me, bro. And this is not trying to stick. I'm thinking about shaving my sides, y'all. I'm thinking about shaving them because when I be trying to put my wigs on, it just be like in the way and like not letting my wigs stick down like I need to. Girl, and I ain't got time. Just like I was saying though, y'all, but I just been like trying to better myself in life in like every way possible. So if that means I have to get rid of certain people, if that means I have to stop, you know, drinking coffee, if that means that I have to stop eating certain things like even when I got sick y'all like that was my body telling me like we not eating this kind of food no more we not tolerating that like unless you finna give us some fruits and vegetables and some water we finna throw up tonight but like when I threw up that night you guys like I was throwing up so bad and honestly it just really like made me like not want to eat nothing bad ever again like sometimes you just have to like take a step back from everything you know and just reboot you know i was still like uploading content but like not like how i could have been you know not like how i usually do it every other day like i've only uploaded like five videos this month and like the month is almost over that's just where i've been at with things just taking a step back to reflect and just try to make these changes so I can just be a better me for y'all and for myself. So boom, I feel really cute right now. I'm gonna be honest, these, these contacts are popping like on another level. So look y'all, I went recently and I went to go buy some new foam or whatever and I was so mad because the beauty supply store that I went to they didn't have the foam that I need. So I'm gonna go to the beauty supply store later on tonight and go get the real foam that I need. Cause I got this one by Ion and then this was like low key open a little bit. So it spilled all in the bag. So I don't even barely have anything in here. So I couldn't even return it. Like girl, I was so mad. So you guys, my battery is finna die. So I have to like go switch out my battery and then I will be back. Y'all gonna be so annoyed by me, but honestly today I just wanna do a middle part. And that's just that on that, sis. I miss the old Kanye. Shape up the gold Kanye. Chop up the soul Kanye. Set on his goals Kanye. I hate the new Kanye. The bad mood Kanye. The always rude Kanye. Smashing the news Kanye. I miss the sweet Kanye. Chop up the beast Kanye. I gotta say, at that time I liked to meet Kanye. See, I invented Kanye. It wasn't any Kanye's. And now I look and look around and there's so many. I even had the pink polo, I thought I was Kanye But well, Kanye made a song about Kanye Call him Mr. Old Kanye But that be so Kanye That's all it was Kanye We still don't love Kanye And I love you like Kanye loves Kanye
Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and I let my curls sit for a minute and everything. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just unravel them like such. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so dramatic about it. Voila, magic. This side isn't like the best, I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> you know, finesse, make it work. Just make it work, girl. This side, I don't know. Cause my whole thing was like, I didn't want it to be like too high, but I'm like, I don't know, should I like maybe go in again and curl it? I don't know. So, <laughs> so y'all see this little blonde streak right here? I don't have time to like fix it, fix it right now. So I'm just gonna take some eyeliner and go over it. <laughs> I really, really like my hair. My hair is from Double Leaf Wig. So if you guys have been looking at their website and you guys weren't sure whether or not you wanted to shop with them, this is the unit that I got. These are the results that I got with the unit that they sent me. My baby hair is coming up over here. So that's a little too much. So yeah, y'all, this is the end of this Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys like the finished look. Once again, this wig is from Double Leaf Hair. I definitely like this particular wig. Like, I love the lace on this unit. As you guys can see, like, the lace looks super natural all the way, like, even up close. Like, it looks really natural. So I like that about the wig. I didn't do anything but, you know, just part my hair in the middle and then I just curled my hair. I'm gonna have this side going back since I do have like this one little shoulder situation. And this is a 20 inch unit um, for anybody who's wondering. It's thick enough for me. It's not too thin, not too thick. It's just perfect. The knots in this unit is so freaking bomb. Like the knots in this unit is bomb. Very small, very natural as you guys can see. It looks natural on camera and it looks natural in person. So that's one thing that I like. Like I just feel really freaking cute right now. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys these new contacts that I got because they're very sexy. Definitely see myself wearing these contacts again in another video or just in general. Like I really like them. Contacts are hard to like put in, I'm not gonna lie. Y'all saw like how much of a struggle I had just trying to put these in. But once they are in, they're very cute. This eye is a little uncomfortable because I need to get like some eye drops or something. My eye is dry or the contact is dry. This side is so comfortable, I can't even tell that it's in. But this other side has been like irritating me the whole entire time. Like even right now, it's just like, it feels like something is like stabbing me in my eye. Like if I wanted to, let me see. What if I was to like flip her over? I probably should have worn it flipped over. Look, and look how natural my hair looks, you guys. Like I just quickly flipped my hair over and it's like, who is she? Who is she? A whole new girl? A whole new girl to rock your world. Bad little girl with the curls. <laughs> Yes, honey. But yeah, y'all see the vibes. It's oh, I should have worn my hair flipped over. Still really cute, just like this. Like that's what I'm saying. Like about this hair. Like y'all see how natural it is. Like okay, you can see a little line right there. But whatever, nigga. Other than that, I mean, she is perfection. Like, hello, hello. You say you're gonna pick me up at what time? Okay, for sure. And shout out to Double Leaf Wig for sending over this wig. I absolutely love this unit. The hair is so soft. It feels amazing. It's holding a curl very well. It's voluminous. It's full. The lace is on point. It looks really natural. I have nothing bad to say about it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and I'll see all of you guys in my next one.